Nividians. All right, we got an SSD upgrade for this Legion T5. Uh, we are going to be putting a one terabyte Samsung in there. These are my favorite drives to put in. Uh, uh, sorry, two terabyte, my bad. Uh, two terabyte drive, but if you're wondering about brands that I like and prefer, I have a whole video on it. You guys can go ahead and watch that. One thing you might want to get is this screw kit. I'm going to have all these parts linked down in the description down below. Um, I also like Crucial as SS for an SSD and stuff like that. You don't have to buy this exact screw kit. The Legion PC does have screws in here, but if you're looking at other PCs to, to do, it's nice to have something like this. Of course, you don't have to buy this with this PC for the first install of your first SSD. Your second one, there are no screws there. You will need a kit like this. Um, of course, you are gonna need a SATA cable. There is an extra one in here that goes down to where the drive cages are, but the easiest rear install does not have an extra SATA cable. So go ahead and you're gonna wanna purchase one of those. And that's uh, six gigabyte per second SATA cable. And of course, your trusty dusty iFixit kit cause it gets everything done. And uh, yeah, you're gonna want something to take screws and nuts and bolts apart and uh, the iFixit kit does a good job of that. Otherwise than that guys, we are gonna get both the front and back side panel off. We're gonna get her powered down and we are gonna get her unplugged. And that's where we're gonna start this uh, install and upgrade from. All right guys, normally you would have your PC laying down on its side, but I'm just doing this to make it a lot easier for you guys to record. You could do it upright like this, but it's up to you. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we are gonna grab our Stata six gigabytes for a second cable. We're gonna kind of unwrap it and we are gonna go ahead and feed it on through right on top of our 24 pin wire. And then we're gonna look at the L connector on here and we're gonna match it up with the board. The board's connector is like that, so we need to flip it around. And then we need to plug her on home right here. And we're going for SATA port number one. And there you go, that's plugged in. And now we are gonna flip her around. And this install is very, very simple. Of course, get yourself a, a number two Phillips and we're gonna take this panel off right here. And our power wire is just sitting right there already. We're gonna go ahead and pull that guy off. And then our fed SATA cable is right here. So both of our cables to hook up everything is right there. And of course they already have the screws locked down on here. So we're gonna go ahead and take these guys off and let these just fall to the table because we actually need to go in these holes. All right guys, so now we have all our screws undone from here and we know that it's gonna orientate like this and we want our drive ports to orientate forward like that. And actually the sticky tab's in our way. So I'm gonna pop that out of our way, grab a flathead screwdriver and just get this guy out of here. I don't think they really thought about this when they put that there. There we go. Get that guy out of our, out of our way. So our Samsung's actually gonna, the writing's gonna go upside down like that. But if we come back here, we know we can line these uh, two ports up top. And I would say don't snug them all the way down until you get all your screws started. All right guys, now that we have all our screws on our SSD tight, we're gonna go ahead and orientate it in the correct position. And we're gonna grab our power cable and we're gonna send our power cable on home. And then we're gonna grab our, S, our SATA cable and send our SATA cable in home. We're gonna come up here and kind of feed them. We might have to pull up on this wire a little bit and then let's uh, send our screw on home while we're still holding. Make sure our thing didn't grab any wires and it didn't. Make sure these guys are nice and snug and there you go. Of course, some of these wires might kind of bunch up on you so you're gonna have to press down. You might have to repath these a little bit and there we go, go ahead and replace your side panel. Go ahead and boot your computer back up and meet me back in Windows and we'll walk you through the rest. All right guys, after you get everything booted back up and you're back in Windows, we're gonna jump over to on screen really quick and you're gonna go into the start menu right here. If the disk is not showing up originally, so if you hold, if you click on your file management right here, go to uh, this PC and you don't see the disk showing up right here, as you can see ours is already showing up, but I'm gonna show you how to do this anyways. So go ahead to the start menu right here, type in disk, N-A-M, M-A-N, and you're gonna do create and format hard disk partitions. And if this disk isn't working, it's either gonna show like, say this, this disk right here, and it would show unavailable or offline. You could right click it and hit online. And then I go, go ahead and right click, and you're gonna go to a new simple partition. And we don't wanna create span or anything like that. I wish this disk would have not initialized so I could actually show you guys this. But pretty much you're gonna come in here and you're gonna do create new partition. 
You're going to create it as an NTFS, leave everything else default. Of course, you can name it whatever you like, you know, gaming, extra game drive, extra stuff like that. And that's how you initialize it in Windows. And of course, this is pretty much, guys, how you set up an SSD as an extra disk for gaming and stuff like that. One thing I can say you, you can go and do is you can create like a program files and go and right click and do new folder and, and create some folders so you have some organization. That way if you have Steam and like Epic Launcher and uh, EA's Origin and stuff like that, you create all these different files in there so you guys have, you know, some organization. Um, of course, it'll work just like it's your C drive and it'll, you can run programs off of it just like normal. Um, other than that, guys, if you have any questions, concerns, comments about this upgrade, go ahead, throw them down in the comment section down below. Everything you've seen that I used in this video to date is going to be down in the description. And, and anything other than that, guys, I'm Tech Nitwin, and I hope I, guys, I hope I helped you guys out. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And, guys, I'm out, y'all.